We go to Alabama now. Uh, a huge election today, and you would think that it would be close, but man, you read reading all the reports, it doesn't look like it's going to be close. So let's go to Rachel Hammers now, conservative talk show host in Alabama. Good morning, Rachel. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Wow, swell. Th- oh, you sound great. Love the microphone. Oh, well, <laughs> it's, yeah, I, I'm in my uh, my secret lair where I do the show most of the time. All right, well, uh, tell us about the uh, the climate right now in, over the past week there in Alabama. I, I was really I, – I, I don't put a lot of stock in the polls. I, I don't think there's a lot to them. I mean, we saw how it went during the, the Trump election. They don't typically get it right. But you had a Fox News poll that had Doug Jones up 10 points. But they were and the only I, poll I, that, I was, had, that, that had that, right? All the other polls had uh, Roy Moore ahead? Uh, the other polls had uh, Roy Moore ahead. Emerson had Roy Moore ahead. There was another one that was kind of a wash. Uh, but it surprised me because of what happened on Friday. Uh, Friday, you had the the Nancy Young. Uh, uh, she's got another name. Uh, your book lady. And she's the Who, original one. She's the Beverly. Four- Beverly, yes, Beverly Young Nelson. Thank and that's you. the that's the original one who alleged at at fourteen. Uh, she, no, that that was oh. Lee Corfman. She was the original Washington Post. This is the okay. one that came out with the yearbook with Gloria Allred. Okay, all right. So then, uh, what she's referring to there is that uh, she had forged that. That was fake. That yes. That, uh, so when she came out Friday and admitted that these were polls that took place over the weekend. So to see Doug Jones in a Fox News poll up ten percent. After that came out, when you've got 71 percent of Alabamians who don't believe the allegations at all, uh, that that kind of surprised me. Um, So how do you see this playing out then today? I think it honestly could go either way. My phone has been going off all morning uh, with people from uh, different groups vying for Roy Moore pull out all the stops i think there's some things in the doug jones campaign that are going to uh help bolster the roy moore campaign i think you're going to have people who are voting against doug jones not necessarily for uh roy moore but voter turnout may be extremely low really i figured something like this you're going to have uh it's going to be the exact opposite well i know in the primaries voter turnout was uh just dismal huh uh but uh, yeah, you might see. I look if the if the if the Democrats come out if they if they go to vote. I, I think Doug Jones has a very good chance of being the next senator from Alabama. Uh, Roy Moore's supporters aren't going anywhere, but you have a lot of people who are on the fence. They're they're not sure which way to go. So it's going to depend on whether or not they get out or they stay home. You know, um, one of the 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 common sentiments that I I keep hearing around here, you know, down here, is that. Um, They'd rather vote in whatever his past might be, Roy Moore. They'd rather vote that singular person in because they don't they don't care what his past versus. And this is a, this is a quote voting for the party of pedophiles. That they feel like, well, if you're voting for the Democrats, well, that they are a party of of uh, pedophiles. They're a party of of sexual perversion and so i'd rather get the one this our one guy in here who is at least on our side and deal with that singular issue versus the party of perversion no see now it's totally opposite here because there's even an ad running there's a group who's not letting their um their donors be known they're hiding it uh it's called highway 31 and oh what they're doing is they are running ads uh, and basically John Merrill, the secretary of state in Alabama had to step in. They had to pull, he got them to pull the ads from Google and YouTube uh, because it was telling voters that if you go to the polls today and you vote for Roy Moore, your neighbors will know you voted for a pedophile essentially uh, giving the impression that uh, your, your vote is not confidential. Now, we're on on the stream with Rachel Hammers, conservative talk show host out of Alabama. Thank you so much for joining us today. Now, what does your gut tell you? What does your gut tell you about My Roy Moore? My gut says about Roy this? Moore is going to win today. That he's going to win, uh, win today. What does your gut tell you about the allegations? I believe that he had an affinity for younger women. I, I think if you look at the... Uh, the time frame, uh, he was 38, she was 24 when he married his wife. Uh, same, same. Uh, what, my same wife and I are 14 of, years apart? <laughs> are you? Well, see, there you go. Uh, 
No, but uh, he, you know, so I, I think when he came home from Vietnam, I think that you have to look at the, it was the end of the 70s. Uh, one girl by her own admission said that her mother uh, told her to go out with him because he was good husband material. Right. Uh, right. So you, you look at, you look at the time frame, you look at the culture then. Uh, I have a lot of questions surrounding the 14 year old. I have a lot of questions surrounding the, the, the yearbook, uh, Gloria Allred won the Beverly Young Nelson, uh, but, but the rest of them, there was nothing illegal. Can, can that one you just discount now? You know, once we find out that uh, she made up this yearbook post, can we just do you just throw that one out? Or does I, she I have any other so. evidence? Well, uh, other than the yearbook, no. And, and one of the questions that really uh, stood out to me was when she said that she couldn't remember if he pushed her out of the car or if she got out of the car. She couldn't remember this. She couldn't remember that. But she could tell you that he was bur- brown hush puppies in a dark car okay all right so, so your thought then is uh roy moyer roy moore is going to t- take this you you threw out a stat that 70 percent of alabamians don't even believe the allegations whatsoever so they're not even they're not even having these discussions they're not listening to these stories at all they that's they put that aside and they're gonna vote along party lines well, they're, they're seeing it as a hit job based on the timing, and you also have to think that Mitch McConnell funneled millions of dollars into the state of Alabama during the primaries. Look, I was a Mo Brooks girl. I wanted to see Mo get uh, the seat. It, it didn't work out that way. I'm not a huge fan of Luther either, but Mitch McConnell wanted Luther Strange. They sent Mike Pence. They sent Donald Trump. They pulled out all the stops, spent millions of dollars, and uh, here we have Roy Moore. And had Mitch McConnell had this information, if this was really out there for years, if this was out for everybody knew it, it was an open secret, uh, as they are suggesting, Mitch McConnell would have used it. Yeah, because that's what's interesting about this whole thing is the fact that Trump wasn't a Roy Moore guy originally. He got behind Luther Strange, who was the appointment uh, made by the governor. And so for then Trump to kind of come around. The now disgraced governor. That's right. Yeah. And and then for Trump to now come around and get behind Roy Moore is a pretty big deal in itself. Uh, And and so I guess my question is what? Well, two things. Do you think he'll actually get the opportunity to serve Uh, because there is going to be more than likely an investigation and there's going to be hearings, you know, before he's uh, seated in the Senate, I believe. Uh, And then two. What do you think that does to the Republican Party in Alabama if they find themselves now in a position where the senator that they elected is not being seated and they may potentially have another special election to deal with? Well, one, these special elections, uh, according to Secretary of State Merrill, cost us $16.5 million uh, per special election for a state that says they have no money. That's true. Uh, the best case scenario would be Roy Moore says, vote for me today. I will immediately step down and let Governor Ivey appoint somebody else. That's never going to happen. Uh, it, does there need to be a special elect or I mean, a, uh, an ethics investigation? I have no problem with having an ethics investigation uh, if he if he is elected today and he goes to Washington because they threw out Al Franken uh, last week as the sacrificial lamb of the Democratic party so that they could essentially say see look we cleaned our house now we can go after roy moore and you saw it yesterday i heard y'all talking about it earlier we can go after donald trump right all right and uh, that's uh that's that's the the top guy on the poll that they want to get the totem pole that they want to get uh but like i always say you know my my good liberal friends who i love i i go be careful what you ask for because donald trump as president may be annoying the crap out of you making you very scared right now uh but he's not getting a lot done if Pence gets in there, he will all those things that you're scared about. He will work with the Republicans and get done. So you know, be careful what you ask for if you want to get Trump out of office. I, I agree. I agree. But I think they're trying to clear the path to go after him. But ultimately, I think Roy Moore is going to pull it out today. Rachel Hammers, thank you so much, conservative talk show host out of Alabama. Thank you for joining us once again. And how can uh, people track you down? Uh, the Rachel Hammer show, or you can go to WTKI, WEKI radio, click the listen live button between four and six, Monday through Friday. All right. Thank you, Rachel. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.